Shout out to Coach Wade in the Mississippi Valley State coaching staff who is getting after it when it comes to recruiting these athletes into their program. One thing I got to say is this. They're bringing athletes into the program with good character that fits the culture that they're trying to create and build within that Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils football program. We're going to get into it right now. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's not a positive vibe. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing. Because I know y'all like, Coach, where the heck you been, bro? Listen, guys, sometimes you got to sit back and really roll things back to figure out exactly the direction that we're going to take things. And I know many of you are, have been looking for different content from me as far as stuff that I've been producing and putting out there for you. But I'm trying to find that one thing that, you know, well, not necessarily one thing, but find that thing that's going to really grab your attention for you to get, you know, get exactly what coach is giving to you and just enjoy it and continue to keep wanting to see more and more things of that nature. I got some content that's coming. I had to sit down and get some research going on to really grasp exactly what it is that I'm looking to talk about because there's been a lot of things that has been going on. But we're going to talk about Mississippi Valley State right now and then we get back to those other things when I start dropping that content for you to get. But I'm going to tell you right now, Mississippi Valley State Delta Delta football team has added some athletes to that program that's going to really shake up some things this upcoming season, especially on that offensive line. These athletes are going to come into the program and as I always state, they're going to be instant impactful players. Now, the one thing I got to say is this. Looking at how Coach Wade and the coaching staff have been recruiting athletes into the program, they're bringing athletes in that can play now, and those is going to be beneficial in the future. And one thing for certain is this. This latest athlete that's going to come in, I'm going to tell you, is going to really shock your mind because I know y'all like, Coach, well, hold on. They got they got some linemen that's already in the program. Absolutely. But you got to understand, if there's no blocking up front, you can't move the ball down the field. If you can't move the ball down the field, guess what? We ain't put no points on the board. And we already understand that the Delta Devils, if I'm not mistaken, have eight offensive linemen that should be returning back to the program this upcoming season. They have eight returning offensive linemen coming back. They got eight more that's coming in. Last season, the Delta Devils averaged 3.9 yards per carry, which was ninth in the swag. That coach's hat on, thinking about what exactly is it that I'm looking to do this season with my team, especially being a first year head coach. You know, Coach Wade, forgive me. I'm trying I'm trying to think like you for a second. I'm pretty sure I'll get it wrong and you know, forgive me for that. But I'm just thinking outside the box right now because looking at how last season, if you look at the top of the list as far as the rushers within the SWAC last season, I think they were rushing like five they were averaging five point excuse me, they were averaging five yards per carry. And you had Mississippi Valley State that was like a three point nine. Well you already know if somebody's rushing the ball five yards per carry that means they were able to eat up a lot of clock. They were able to contain that clock, manage that clock in a manner which they needed to, to continue to keep the offense for the other team off the field, not allowing them to score points. Well, the Delta Devils had 3.9, which was pretty daggone low. And you know there's only 12 teams in the SWAC. So if you're down in that, that bottom fourth on that list, that means you got some work to do. And again, thinking, thinking like a head coach, I'm like, wait a minute. I think we need to increase that a little bit, which leads me to bringing in the type of athletes into the program that's raw and can get out there and be impactful right away. They got a young man that's going to come into their program that's definitely raw, but he definitely can become impactful to the team because I know his last stop where he was at, he didn't get any playing time there. I'm just going to be honest with you right now. He didn't get any playing time there, but looking at this young man's film, I got to be honest with you. This young man is mean. He's aggressive and he's just flat out nasty. He can get up to the second level to make that block. Not only that, that I like about this young man, he continues to keep blocking until the whistle blows. And that's what it's all about when you're out there on the offensive line and you're looking to get offensive linemen like that on your team. Now, as I stated before, this young man is raw. He's a raw talent, as, as many, as some have written it up, you know, previously to him going off to college. They figured he's a raw talent that, you know, can really get out there and just he can get out there and go. This young man has a motor. And the thing is, as a coach, and I'm putting my coach's hat back on again, when I sit here and I, I see a talent like that, that's, you know, would be considered a raw talent, that's a blank canvas to me. 
And when you have a blank canvas, you can you can you can go ahead and build that canvas up to be whatever it is that you wish for it to be. This young man coming into that Mississippi Valley State Death of Devils football program is going to be something that's going to marvel a lot of folks because it's going to leave you standing like, man, this kid can really get after them ball. And just looking at what you know, just looking at the intangibles when it comes to this young man. He can, he can pull laterally, left to right. He can open up them hips. He can get out there. He can get to the next level. He can go ahead and seal off blocks from time to time. Now, I will say this. One thing that did catch me uh, in, you know, a couple of clips that, you know, I looked at here of this young man is that it was a time or two where he got up there to make the block, but he wasn't able to seal him off. And I'm thinking that was because the running back that was running the ball wasn't a little bit more patient with him, allowing him to seal that block off before making a cut left or right that would allow them to break that break that play for bigger gains than what they did. But the young man I'm talking about is none other than Mr. Joseph Church. Joseph Church from Fresno State, offensive lineman, transfer, six foot four, 280 pounds. As I stated, he didn't see any time while he was there at Fresno State. Now, going through his high school film, this young man played at Upland High School in Fontana, California. This young man could definitely get after it. Like I stated before, in the 247 uh, review of this young man, the write-up was stating that he was a raw talent in which this young man definitely have the skills to get out there and do whatever it is that a offensive lineman coach is requiring of him to do. This young man, like I stated, he can get to that second level. He can seal that, he can seal that defender off, keeping that defender from getting to that running back, allowing that running back to break for big gains. The thing is, as I stated before, I just want to see this young man get up to that second level, seal that, seal that defender off, allowing them, allowing that running back to run off the hip, left or right, whichever way the play is supposed to be going to get those big get those big gains out there on the field. This young man, as I stated, is a true talent. I don't quite understand how he got looked over in a manner which he did. But again, this young man can definitely get out there on the field. He has a motor. You're going to hear me keep saying that over and over again. His motor allows him to get out there and be competitive. It's almost like this young man loves pancaking folks. If it's at the line of scrimmage or if it's downfield, he's going to drive your behind until that whistle blows. And if the whistle ain't blowing, guess what? You're going to see them feet turning. And you're going to look up and say, wait, oh, there go church right there. Oh, he's pushing the man down the field, making, you know, getting him out the way so that they can continue to keep moving that ball. One thing I can definitely say is this. This was definitely a great pickup for the Mississippi Valley State Delta Delta football team. And I love how they're continuing to bring the athletes into their program to continue to keep moving this thing forward for right to be able to compete right now and definitely in the future. Congratulations to Joseph Church on continuing his football career with the Mississippi Valley State Delta Delta football program. And definitely look forward to seeing him do some great things out there on the field this upcoming season. Congratulations to Coach Wade and the Delta Devils coaching staff on moving things forward in a manner which they've been able to since they've arrived on campus. Guys, I like what you're doing. Continue to keep moving this thing forward. And I can see great things coming your way. But Coach going to go ahead and get up on out this thing. But until next time, be the one and lead.